guys, what is up? Welcome back to Beer Geek Nation. I'm your host, Chris. Thanks for joining me once again. I have got a very, very special beer for you guys tonight. This is the one and only Goose Island Bourbon County Vanilla Stout coming in at 13%. Gigantic, gigantic beer. Um, very, very limited production on this one. If you can find yourself a bottle, definitely pick it up. Um, even if you don't drink it right now, you're not going to see this batch again. I guess technically it's a 2009 version of their Bourbon County Stout, which is an Imperial Stout coming in at 13% that they age in bourbon barrels at the brewery. Then with this one, they just age it even longer on top of whole vanilla beans. Um, no one's sure how much longer, but it's definitely a length of time, so they're going to get big vanilla notes in this one, big bourbon notes, just those really, really big imperial stout notes. Um, actually, my first review was for the 2009 batch of the just the plain Bourbon County stout, so if you guys want to check that out, see how far we've come or not come, depending on who you talk to. Um, check that one out, let me know what you think. But with that said, guys, let me get this into a glass, let you know how it smells, how it tastes, and give me the verdict on the Goose Island Bourbon County Vanilla Stout. Um, it looks really similar to the standard BCS. It is absolutely midnight black. You can't see any light through this thing. It's no light penetration whatsoever. Um, a really, really dark, dark, kind of luscious looking um, off, you know, just a very light khaki, light brown head. Alcohol feet, just absolutely epic on this one. As you can see in the video, just huge amounts of alcohol sticking to the glass. Lots of lacing in this one. Not a lot of head, but a 13% barrel aged. I mean, come on, what do, you, what do you want in this one? There's a decent amount of carbonation you can kind of see between the head and the actual beer. So uh, just an absolutely amazing looking Imperial Stout. You know, it's not nearly as vanilla-y as I thought it was going to be. I'm getting a lot of the original BCS notes. I'm getting huge chocolate notes, really, really big coffee notes in there, lots and lots of booze. This is a very hot smelling beer. Um, big, big roasted notes, just everything you would want in Imperial Stout, a lot, a lot of booziness in there. And then the vanilla is kind of in the back. It's kind of a uh, a soothing kind of smooth kind of smell just kind of creeps in there with some of the oak notes um, some of the bourbon barrel notes big bourbon notes big vanilla notes some oakiness in there but it's very subdued and it's kind of smooth and it really blends with the rest of the aromas the coffee the chocolate the dark roasted notes it's a really really good smelling beer for being a 13 percent you know bourbon barrel aged monster That is a big beer. Right at the beginning of tongue, a tinge, the slightest tinge of a, a dark chocolate bitterness. From there on out, it's a hugely hot beer. And when I say hot, I mean very, very boozy tasting. Lots of alcohol present in this one. Fills the mouth. Um, really, really big, gigantic vanilla notes coming through. I'm really surprised. You don't smell that in the aroma, but huge amounts of vanilla filling the mouth, coating the mouth with a really good mouth feel. Lots of coffee. I'm getting a, a, an espresso kind of aftertaste in there. There's a dark chocolate aftertaste. There's some malt bitterness in there, some roastedness, a little bit of, almost a little bit of smokiness in there. There's definitely a lot of bourbon characters in there. Lots of booziness. I, I can't stress that enough. This is definitely a sipping beer. This isn't a beer you could drink a lot of. But wow, it is smooth. It has a huge amount of mouthfeel. All the flavors are there. They really, really blend together really nicely. Um, th th this beer is going to age magnificently over the time. Everything's going to kind of get turned down a little bit. The vanilla is going to kind of come up. The chocolate notes, coffee notes are really going to come up. And it's going to be a fantastic beer. Um, as it stands right now, it's a good beer, it's a sipping beer, it is a monster of a beer. Lots of vanilla, lots of chocolate, lots of espresso, lots of those bourbon characters, the vanilla, the oakiness, um, the kind of the sour milk kind of taste to it from the barrel aging. It's just an absolutely hugely successful complex imperial stout. All right, guys, so at the end of the day, what are we going to give the final verdict on the Goose Island Bourbon County, Bourbon County Vanilla Stout coming in at 13% ABV? 
I'm going to give this one an A. I think it's absolutely hugely successful, and in a year from now, it's definitely going to be an A plus beer. Um, there's so many complex flavors and aromas that are constantly kind of evolving as the beer warms, as you're drinking it, as you start to think about it a little bit. Um, you know, you have the initial impressions of a you know really really solid imperial stout. You have the chocolate notes, the coffee notes, the really big roasted backbone in this one, just the absolute mouthfeel that just coats your mouth. And then Goose Island really adds that extra element to it by adding the bourbon barrel to it. And you get, the, you know, the oaky notes and the vanilla notes and the deep um, kind of pipe smoke kind of flavors in there and a little bit of funkiness into it. And then on top of that, they add the vanilla beans into this one, which really adds a whole other dimension to it. It really kind of steps up the game a little bit. It's 13% alcohol. You taste every single percentage point of that alcohol. It burns. It's a warming beer. Definitely, definitely a winter beer. They couldn't have released this, released this beer at a better time. So with that, that's it guys, I'm giving this one an A- minus on the verge of an A. It'll be an A plus in a year with a little bit of aging to kind of take some of the hotness off of it. But definitely pick yourself a bottle or two, age one. And with that said, my friends, remember, life is too short. Drink amazing beers. Cheers.